Breaking news. Embattled Chief Justice of Nigeria, Tako Mohamed, tenders resignation letter to Buhari. Mohamed, in the letter which he copied to the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, cited his as the reason for his decision. And these have got so many Nigerians talking. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Tako Mohamed, has tendered his resignation letter to President Muhammad Buhari. Sahara Reporters has gathered. Mohamed, in the letter which he copied to the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, cited he has as the reason for his decision. This comes a few days after 14 justices of the Supreme Court lamented the decrepit state of affairs in the Appeals Court. In the letter sent by Sahara reporters, the justice accused Mohammed of abandoning his responsibilities as the leader of the court. He was also accused of diverting their housing vehicles and electricity allowances into his personal pocket and that of his children's political ambitions. Sahara reporters had exclusively reported that two songs of the Chief Justice of Nigeria emerged as a senatorial and the House of Representatives candidate of the All Progressive Congress and People's Democratic Party, respectively, in Bauchi State. Why? Siraji. Ibrahim Tako emerged as the APC candidate for Baruchi North. His brother, Sani, won the ticket of the PDP to represent Shiro Gida Federal Constituency in Baruchi State at the lower chamber of the National Assembly. The justice reiterated the fact that they are serving this country diligently and to the best of their ability and as such deserves the best compared to how they are being treated by the present CJN, a top judiciary officer had told Sahara reporters. The justice reminded the CJN of the fact that the resolved disputes between the executive and the legislature, including all manner of disagreement between governments and individuals and how it would be a tragedy if the Nigerian public we are to know that they are unable to resolve their own problems internally without going public due to neglect and lack of taking to corrections by the CJN. The justice demanded that the CJN act before it is too late as all efforts in the past to resolve their complaints had yielded no result. The justice recalled that the CJN he reluctantly called a justice meeting on the 23rd day of March 2022 after several persistent requests to hold the meeting. The justice recalled that their meeting of the 23rd day of March 2022, they tabled and discussed their demands on 1. Justice accommodation 2. Vehicles 3. Electricity tariff 4. Supply of desert Five, internet service to justice, residents and chambers. Seven, epileptic electricity supply to the court. They also raised the issue of the failure of the Honorable Justice, the Chief Justice to carry the justice along in managing the affairs of the court, as well as the deteriorating condition of services generally. They frowned on how the CJN ringed on the agreement that the Welfare Committee he constituted to compile and forward their demands which were submitted to the CJN for its review. The Welfare Committee submitted their request for these allowances because of the epileptic electricity supply. The astronomical hike in the price of diesel and the fact that justice requires electricity to work at home, the committee also requested for the restoration of their monthly internet allowances because they required interrupted internet service in order to have access to materials online to write their judgment. 
but the CJN ignored their demands since 24th March 2022. The worst part of the CJN corruption is the fact that some justice sworn in since the 6th day of November 2022 were yet to be accommodated by the court as they lived in their rented apartment with the attendance risk attached to the same. With regard to justice vehicles, several justice are due to vehicle replacement. Why the new justice have not received their full complement of vehicle? To date, moreover, some of the vehicles supplied to the justice are earlier refurbished or substandard. <laughs> Tucker was never qualified to head the Supreme Court. He was imposed on the court as a stage by this president in a bid to deny the South the, the Southerners from heading that position. This is what you get when you elevate uh, tribalism over ethnic incompetence. Many legal practitioners protest protest protested his appointment, but it was ignored by our president. His resignation comes as no surprise to me. Wari should tender his resignation letter too. He will forever remain the worst president Nigeria has ever produced. May all the evil he has done while working as CJN turn against him is also the worst CJN we have had. Nowadays, the evil men do lives with them. What Tako Mohammed did to the people of Imo State, we hurt him today. Also, the coup him and Buhari carried out to overthrow the former CJN, Water, made Nigeria Judiciary Council useless. May Taco Mohammed never happen to Nigeria again. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. Let's hear from you. Thank you very much for, for always coming out here. Bye for now.